this is Jake Kane from Longtail Pro, and today I'm going to do a quick comparison of Weebly and Wix, which are two of the leading website builders that pride themselves on being simple to use, intuitive, particularly uh, for do-it-yourselfers and people that maybe haven't done a website before. Um, they both have an offering where you can log in, use a drag-and-drop builder, and set your site up um, in a very, very simple way. So I'm just going to show you a couple of things that I like and things I might change uh, about both. Um, first, you're looking at Weebly here, and, and full disclosure, I've been a Weebly Pro customer for several years, so I'm a big fan of Weebly. Um, I love the editor. I recommend it to friends. Um, and basically how it works is everything on the left are all the elements you can add to your page, and so as you scroll down, there are quite a few things, uh, you know, video, audio, AdSense, um, text, obviously, image galleries, maps, etc., and when you want to add one of those things, you simply click on it and then you drag it over onto your page. Um, and there it goes. And then you just click to customize. So I would put in my title text and, and I'm done. Same thing with images, which I had already added this, but you click on it, you'd upload an image from your computer and, and you move on that way. On the Wix side of things, this is a look at the Wix editor. And I was already doing some tinkering here with the, with the color scheme. So this doesn't look the best. But you can click on Add here, and you've got a similar set uh, of things. Now, they do have apps that you can add in, so some additional functionality, things like that. But at the basic level, you know, text, image galleries. If I click on text, it's going to ask me if I want a title or a paragraph. I hit paragraph, and then sort of the difference here is rather than having like a predefined spot where you can drop this text, it adds it in and then I can I can move it around. It'll give me some guidance about where to put it. But like if I wanted to put it in an awkward spot like this, I can actually do that. So you have like total free control, which could be a good thing or a bad thing, depending on, on what you're doing. So, uh, you know, if you, if you feel like that, that you need that much ability, great. Um, for me, I kind of like having a predefined place I can put some stuff because it helps me stay under control and kind of keep things organized. So uh, you decide if that's a good or a bad thing, but you absolutely have free control and Wix is sort of unique in that. I, I've tested a lot of these different builders and and um, they do a great job of giving you full reign of customization. Another thing I like about Wix is under the colors, uh, under the design palette, they give you color palettes basically, basically to pick from. Um, so instead of just doing one color at a time, which you can still do by customizing, you have a full set of colors uh, that it comes with, which is a pretty cool idea um, for those of us who are, uh, you know, color palette challenged, and that's not our strong suit is picking colors that complement one another. Um, so I really like that. One thing I'm not a fan of uh, on the Wix side is the page URLs, and, and this is just an article where they talk about that. But this kind of shows you an example of what a page URL might look like on Wix, and there's they explain technically why that's why that's necessary. Um, so there's some things you can go through to like shorten that and redirect to it and such, but uh, you know, I like having my URL short and simple so it's easier for social sharing and things like that and just kind of telling people, you know, hey, go to whatever.com slash yes, you know, or no, whatever. And so um, with Weebly, you know, you can do that very simply. You just set up the URL that you want with Wix. It's a little bit different and, and I'm not a fan of that. So. Um, ultimately, I put together you know a pretty complete comparison uh, where we talk more about pricing and some of the other features, just kind of pros and cons depending on your situation, um, which builder might be best for you. So if you click on the link in the corner of the video, um, you'll be taken to that full guide. It's absolutely free, or the link down in the description of this video, and uh, hopefully you'll make an educated decision. And hopefully this was helpful in getting you started. Have a great day.